In this video, we're going to talk about factorials. And this is what a factorial is. Whenever you see the product of factors in descending order, like in this example, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, see how the factors are decreasing by 1? We can write this in a shorter way. And how we write this is we write 5, which is the first factor, and then we write this symbol, exclamation point. This means 5 factorial. And anytime you see 5 factorial, what it means is that you're going to multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all the way till you get to 1. In this other example, we have 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We can shorthand this and write it in a short way by writing 7 factorial. Okay? And by that definition, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So anytime you see 0 factorial, that will equal 1. And since we're talking about sequences, I wanted to give you this short intro um, about factorial because now we have a sequence that has factorial notation. And in this example, they're asking you to write the first five terms of the sequence given by this equation and it tells you begin with n equal to 0. So we usually start with n equal to 1, but this time they want us to start with 0. So a sub 0, and remember if n is equal to 0, that means anywhere there's an n in my expression, I'm going to substitute for 0. So 2 to the 0 power over 0 factorial. That equals 2 to the 0 power. Anything you raise to the 0 power, that will equal 1. And by this definition, over here, 0 factorial is 1, so this equals 1. Now, a sub 1 is equal to 2 to the first power over 1 factorial. So that equals 2 over 1, and that equals 2. For a sub 2, we have 2 to the second power over 2 factorial. So that's going to equal 4 over 2 times 1, which is equal to 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. For a sub 3, we'll have 2 to the third power over 3 factorial. That will equal 8 over 3 times 2 times 1. So that equals 8 over 6. And if we reduce this fraction, or simplify it to lowest terms, we can write it as 4 over 3, which is 1 and 1 third. And for the fifth term, remember they said find the first five terms of the sequence. This would be 2 to the fourth power over 4 factorial. So that equals 16 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 16 over 24, because 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. And we can reduce this to lowest terms. We have a common factor of 8. That will give you 2 over 3. So there are the first five terms of this sequence. We can list them. We can write that the first term is 1. The second term is 2. The third term is also 2. The fourth term is 1 and a third. And the fifth term is 2 thirds. And we can write dot, 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 because we know this will continue forever. OK, I hope you understood this example. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to simplify factorials.